We're playing Wuthering Rooms. It's uh, actually a roguelike horror game. A roguelike survival horror game. And um, I had my eyes on this game for a long while, actually. And uh, I want to play it. Um, this button. Yes. Alright, yeah. This game saves automatically. Thanks. So this game is a little bizarre, but you'll get the gist of it. Most in Gatehouse, 1892, in a dream. Nightingale is sent to Mosian Private Asylum by her father. New patients must spend their first night in the Gatehouse for observation. Uh, it is that the Nightingale first awakens in a dream. Thank you for the HR, Yosef. So there we go, that's the game. And they remove. Uh, some furniture can even be interacted with. There we go. Chris, thank you so much for the 17 months of membership. Water. Thank you. Uh, you to open this door. Hmm. Alright, just keeping an eye, an eye out for the stream. Strange coin, treasure, too. A curious coin with a cross. It's not clear what metal it's made from. Has a subtle iron scent. Who needs money in a dream? As a weak dragon may help guests play with their fantasies. I began to understand. A coin is a favor stored for later. Watch out. There is dodging in this game too. There is also big guns in this game. Though I think uh, the game rather you won't use them. Because from what I've seen, uh, it's gonna attract enemies. Bad guys. Inspect. A corpse is in a cage. It's blocking a hole in the wall. Some furniture can be used to hide. When close, press F to hide. Stay hi hidden until the monster passes. So that guy over there is waking up. So I'm just gonna hide real quick. How do you even get in there to begin with? I don't know. There he goes. I think that was my cue to escape. <laughs> I like uh, if you look under the... The furniture, you can see Nightingale just uh, looking at him. Nightingale is the name of the character we were playing as. Look at her face. She's tracking him. Alright, the moment he walks... I'm just gonna leave. There you go. A grandfather clock, there is a keyhole on the front. Gotcha. Read special placement log. Oh, I can't really read that. Um, Becca, Nightingale, that's us. Nightingale Williams, age 15. Symptom spending, so they don't know what's wrong with me. Okay. Usually I um, I have a hard time reading combined handwriting, so I'm not even gonna attempt. Press F near doors to silently peer through them. Okay. Also, when I peer through doors, you can see like I open a small crack in the door. That's nice. Can't interact with anything else in this room, so I'm gonna go. What are you gonna do with the cage on him? Headbutt you? You're laughing, but you know how, like, strong is a cage headbutt? Like, imagine this guy running at you at full velocity. You're not gonna be colliding with meat. You're gonna be colliding with metal. Set the traps. Sorry, uh, Yosef, thank you so much for the HR. Playing Hunting Ground, please, it's a horror game. Oh, I thought about playing it.
So this guy, if you look at it back, has a key. So I'm just gonna try and grab it. Oh, nope, that's the wrong thing. Uh, how do I back out of that? Don't screw this up, this guy has a big uh, knife. Priscilla? Huh? No, grab the key! Key! I got it. Gatehouse key. This item is permanent. Again, this is a road like so some items are not. The key to this door of the mansion gatehouse. Daddy, if, did you misplace the key again? I should nail it to your ba backside, you absolute pillock. I'm gonna hide for a moment. Yeah, good call. Oh, this guy has a bear trap on his leg. Poor guy. I thought about sneaking behind his back, but um, waiting was the right choice because he turned around instantly. Also, there's a note here for people who are interested to read. Daddy... Daddy's mind is literally decaying, but he can still be of use. To keep him from wandering at, at night, I've locked the gatehouse door. I nailed the spare key to his back in case you need it. You'll have to be sneaky. Uh, I've had, a, in addition, I've cast a spell on the front garden of the mansion. No one dead may pass through it. Uh, check for the glowing white rigid above the doorway to make sure it's still working. Your ever lovely, loving daughter, Margaret. All right. Was Margaret in the list of patients we've seen? I don't know. That's my best attempt of, of reading that. So I hope, uh, I hope you guys understood it all right. A white sigil is above the doorway indicates that uh, they cannot pass through it. Hold shift for running. Alright. So this lock is broken. Okay. And there is probably a spell cast into it if uh, what we read is accurate. Okay. Hide. I got a job to do right now. Gotta go. Alright, Solid. Thank you for hanging out with us. See you later. Search. A red wax, crafting, occult, wax colored with matter, a useful ingredient in the production of spells. Cool. These guys are looking at me, these, these guys are checking me out. They're just looking at me. Chocolate cake, slightly stale chocolate cake, still delicious. Hey, a chocolate cake is a chocolate cake, we don't uh, argue with that. You look lost. First time in a dream? I'm Becca. I'm afraid you've stumbled into something you probably shouldn't have. We're having a sort of celebration to welcome a new member of our little club. You see? We're witches. In the dr dreary walking world, there is no magic, but here, magic is real. I'm sure it's all ter terribly confusing. You need to go talk to the first witch. She's our leader. You'll find her up ahead by the fireplace. She can answer any question she has truthfully, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Oh, and feel free to grab a slice of cake. It's delicious. All right, Becca, thank you very much. I already grabbed it before she asked. Oh, this is the first witch. I mean, I actually uh, did this encounter already, but uh, it's kind of funny. I play through the prologue to see if the game works. You, you're not supposed to be here. Are you a patient here at Muslim Private Asylum? The answer is yes, because if you saw the note, I'm actually right now in the observatory being watched. So, yeah. Hmm. Did you come from the gatehouse? Yes. Hmm. You made it all the way with no assistance? No. I did have assistance. Uh, the notes. Liar! You are a capable woman! <laughs> Welcome to Withering Rooms.
Listen, I got help from the tutorial. Does that count? Chapter 1. Mosin House, 1892. In a dream, the pain of a flame subsides as Nightingale loses consciousness. She awakens in a strange bedroom with Mosin House. Still in a dream. So we're still in a dream. You're a capable woman, burns to death. I mean, hey, I guess she's not wrong. A grandfather clock. There's a keyhole on the front. The door is locked, so I can't even peek through it. We do need to open a crack in the door. Hello there. No tools. Search. A knife. Weapon. A rusty kitchen knife. Cuts quickly, but has a limited range. Five physical damage, five bleeding... Five bleeding buildup. Three poise impact. Uh, excuse me, are we playing Dark Souls? It's just this uh, settings uh, or stats sound similar. Strength right and right. And click to stab. Uh, exit combat mode. Space to dodge. While running, uh, shift and press space to roll. <laughs> Nightingale is very agile. Like, what you gonna do if a small girl with a knife does this and then, like, instantly stabs you? There is nothing you can do. You're just dead. Uh, so how do I get out of here, by the way? Is there a key around here? Maybe we can backstab somebody. I didn't think about that. Okay. I'll speak to you first. I'm terribly sorry if I frightened you by just appearing like that. I like to observe new arrivals to make sure they're not violently deranged before allowing them out of their room. I'm Margaret Blackett. Hey, she's the one who wrote the note at the beginning. And I share administration of this asylum with my father, Dr. Robert Blackett. Her name is Nightingale? Nightingale. Yeah, isn't it? Let me first deeply apologize to you for being, you know, set on fire as soon as you arrived. I assure you the responsible party has been severely reprimanded. I'm not familiar with your case history, but you may be wondering if this is all a delusion. I can assure you it is not. You've been drawn into a phenomenon unique to Mosian House. It's not a sort of dream or nightmare. Wicks will pass here during an, a single night in the real world. I'm sure you have questions. I'll answer as best as I'm able. Uh, escaping? The methodology for waking up from the dream is not well understood. Some wake up with ease, with only a vague memory of what occurred here. Others are trapped indefinitely, their comatose bodies slowly rotting in the real world. Dying in the dream provides no release. You'll simply wake up anew. Alright, what's the dangers? I'll let you explore then. Oh, did I somehow miss something? The mansion reconfigures itself each night, but you should be able to find uh, in the study. I'll leave you with the key to the room and make your uh, and make my exit a different way. Oh, and night Nightingale, don't be discouraged if you die. As you have already seen, it's only temporary. It sounds preserved, but death truly is the greatest teacher. See you around! She didn't explain to me about the enemies. You can view current quests in the notes section. Oh, I see. That's a very nice menu. Okay, I'm not hiding anything. My camera isn't hiding anything. That's good. So that's the key to the strange bedroom. Uh, meet Margaret in the study. So that's where we're going. Wait, I can equip armor? You gotta be joking. I don't see anything outside, so I'm just gonna go. Uh, toggle minimap, back quote. What's a, what's a back quote? I guess that? 
Oh, that's a nice minimap. I can tell where I've been and where I weren't. Would be a good idea to check out this room, so... Oh, okay. Oh, did he hear me? Is that why he was acting so strange? Blank scroll, a blank piece of parchment, perfect for crafting a spell. Oh, don't stab him, he's sleeping. I'm gonna let the little baby sleep. Bless you. That's quite a big baby. Wax colored with woad, a useful ingredient in the production of spells. Rome. Darkness fell upon us. In the beginning, the city had seven judges, twelve beggars and nine barbers. Next, four barbers drank poison. On the following day, each barber murdered two beggars. Then two judges shot themselves in Rome, but a handful of judges, beggars and barbers remained. Is this uh, some sort of a puzzle? Books and notes you've read can be found in the pause menu. All right. Oh. All right, hold on. The puzzle is right here. So, seven judges, 12 beggars, and nine barbers. Uh, four barbers drank poison, so that's uh, just five uh, barbers. On the following day, each barber murdered two beggars. So, four times two, that's eight. Uh, eight minus 12, that's four. Uh, wait, no. Uh, 12 beggars, yeah. Uh, on the following day, each barber murdered two beggars. Uh, then two judges shot themselves. So seven, six, five. So five, five, four, five, five, four, five, five, four, five. five. Two judges uh, shot themselves. So uh, seven, six, five. And then uh, four beggars because. Um, the barbers, the four barbers killed two each. Uh, and there were 12. Did I get... Oh, wait, I need to enter it. That was wrong. If four out of nine drank, drank poison... Oh, wait, no, there, there were not four... Uh, my bad. There were not four uh, barbers. There were five barbers. So that would be ten, which would leave two beggars. My bad. So, five judges, two beggars left alive, and five barbers. There we go. A cult library key. Oh, it's the library. Not the study, though. Key to the occult. Empty jar uh, with proper equipment can be filled with various liquids. You choose. What a nifty little puzzle. I s no, sneak out. Sneak out. Leave. Close. Someone's coming. Hello, smell deodorant. Hey, Riz, haven't seen you in a while. Well, welcome. Welcome back. Hey, I'm a huge fan. Yeah, you're back. Thank you, Mr. Legend. I am working on uh, on review videos and streams, uh, which kind of I forgot to mention. I do have a second channel, which I forgot to advertise. <laughs> I forgot to remind people to check it out because I was so focused on beating the previous game. So there is a link in the chat to the second channel where I upload all this stuff, all this stuff from the stream. All right, I did hear somebody. And yeah, and also it's good to be back. Have I been... Whoopsies. Oh yeah, that's right. I went back when I heard the footsteps. Oh. So much fit. Did you see me? I 
I'm sitting here in bed sick watching you live. Aw, Hakeem. I hope you got better. I'll just uh, walk very slowly. So like I said earlier, there's a link in the chat to the second channel. And if you're interested, you can check it out. Um, that's the library. I'm gonna close the door behind me. I don't want people following me. Oh, there is a sigil above the door. This room is safe. I can do whatever the heck I want. So what's this? The night mother remembers. We are her bricks and blood is her mortar. Imagine being hit by a blood mortar. Uh, hello, can I speak to you? A new visitor to our dream, how exciting. I don't have a name, exactly, but most folk around here call me filthy wretch. Wretch. I consider myself a tutor of sorts in the occult arts. You seem like you would make a fine student. Before we get started, I have one small request which you might find a bit of putting. I'd like you to bring me corrupted fingers, fr freshly chipped from one of the undead. Now don't look so scandalized, you don't even know what it's for. I'd suggest, suggest targeting one of the sleeping zombies. I appreciate this is an unusual and difficult to request, but I assure you this, the end result will be worth it. Have you got the corrupted finger? No, you just sent me on the mission. Well then, put that sterling brain of yours into action. Whoa, I nearly cut your corrupted finger. It can't be my finger because it isn't corrupted, you see? Totally normal. So I'm gonna go. So there was a baby zombie in this room, right? Shh. <coughs> Die. Be sure to search the dead bodies. They often contain valuable items. Treasure. I got the corrupted finger. There it is. The filthy finger of a living corpse. Zombie. Cholera patient. Was that in the patient list? Or are we correct uh, making our own? Corrupted finger. Covering them up with a sheet doesn't cover up the smell, unfortunately. Oh, well. And also a bunch of stats on the sheet. That was easy. Germany accent. That was more just me doing like my... A little rap. Anyway. That was more me just doing my, uh, you know, ex exaggerating my own accent. Have you found a corrupted finger? Yeah, I have one at a one. Excellent. I, will, I want to ask where you got it. A hand. Now, what I'd like you to do is eat the finger. Eat it. Eat it. Just kidding, Pupil. Such uh, body parts are a viable commodity with many uses in the dream, as in life. You see the stone shrine in this room? A curious ancient tin. Place the finger into its basin to activate it. <clears throat> it will help you remember items you might otherwise have forgotten each night. You'll find shrines like this throughout the mansion. Just as no two people are alike, so are the shrines. Each one will require a different offering to activate. Each new shrine you activate will allow you to remember one additional item. Return to me, pupil, once you have activated the shrine. Uh, <laughs> Alright. So this is like a, a ammo, like a, a box in Resident Evil. Just with fingers. The Night Mother remembers... We are her bricks, and blood is her mortar. Have a finger. I've unlocked one item resemblance. Remembrance slot. So this is where I remember items. Right? I can throw in the... Um, wait, how does this work? So... If I want to remember... These... Uh, remember. Wait, what? What happened? Did I remember it? 
Oh, I can only remember one item. I'll, I'll forget the blank slate ever happened. And I'll remember the knife. Also, I like create a copy because I also still have the knife. Interesting. Our next, le next lesson will be about casting the of spells. You may be skeptical about the existence of magic in the real world, but there is no doubt in its power in this dream. Hold the blue scroll, focus your attention in the seal, and imagine it breaking while you wave your hand over it. The seal will break, and the magical energies contained within consume the scroll and escape. This blue scroll is a protection spell, giving you an invisible suit of armor that will absorb a few hits before dissipating. There is a price, however. Using magic will cause one to become slightly cursed. The effects are numerous. Grain off the skin, an increased awareness of paranormal activity nearby. Next, strange and horrific sights previously hidden will reveal themselves. Everyone has a tolerance for being cursed, which, if exceeded, lead, leads to a rather rapid eternal rotting process. In that case, use the warding candle immediately to reduce your cursedness. Enough prattle. Give that spell to a, a try and see me when you're ready to learn more. Uh, Alright. I'm just gonna use it. I'm gonna do it. Uh, how do I use it? You have slight, become slightly cursed. As your curse level increases, strange things will begin to happen. To craft your own spells, you'll need a grimoire. It so happens I have an extra beginner grimoire. You can use that table over there to create your spells. You need a blank uh, uh, sheet. Come see me when you're done. I have a blank scroll. I have three of those, actually. Alright, so let's see. A door hex spell places a hex upon a door. Anyone who opens it will be engulfed in, in a cloud of curse energy. The effects lingers for for several seconds. So he deals damage. Alright. Five curse damage to caster. Wait, I get damaged? Alright. I can create another blue one. There you go. Uh, my camera is hiding important information. I just realized. There you go. Live editing. Um, can I equip my knife? There you go. I can assign them slots. I've taught you everything I can for now. To continue your studies in the occult, you'll need to find the first switch in the basement. Here is the east stairwell key. Be warned that someone someone has tampered with the gas pipes in the basement. All the lights are out, and the basement is not somewhere you want to be without light. Alright, did uh, this move? I felt like something moved. Welsh Country House. Mosin House, situated on the hill Monmouth between Sitch, uh, St. Alley Church and Brian Batch Abbey's ruins, has a fascinating and tragic history. Built by coal magnet Alfred Mosin in 1869, the house was initially designed as a country getaway before a series of terrible events led it to becoming the private residence of an American doctor, a chloride clinic, and finally a mental asylum. Oh no, a coal. Alright, let's get out of here. So, if it, uh, I gotta find some light. There's probably some light in here, right? Oh, okay. First aid kit. It's a dream. Gauze for wrapping wounds. Nice. And another first aid kit. Even in dreams, first aid kit is important. Uh, she doesn't want to crouch. She walks up on her own.
there's like a stutter and every time the game stutters she walks up so i think it's something with a control detection depending on how it was coded uh poison antidote a curiously effective activated charcoal potion heals any poison build up and the poison status effects man there is a lot of stuff here <coughs> Close this door. I don't know what the thing was, but I don't think my knife would have been effective getting close to it. And no, it's not a. It's not like uh, it's not an excuse for not getting close to him. It's just I don't know what to do. I'll load him at. He's a big guy. He can't leave the, the room if he wants to. Someone is coming. Should I kill her? Horrible dust. Oh no. I'll let her live for now. I'm feeling generous. Uh, more bandages. Yellow wax. I don't know what the yellow spell can achieve. That's a nice art. Look at that. Very nice. I don't know who carved it. Very cozy. Oh, this is where uh, Marguerite is waiting for me. Maybe she has a light spell or something. There is a sigil above the door, so I shouldn't worry. I can run as as much as I like. By the way, was I injured? What's that above my head? Or, um, like, I don't know, there is a, a meter with a crucifix. I wasn't expecting to see you so soon. I believe you'll do well in the dream. Let me give you a little gift. This is an old ring of mine. If you die in the dream, you'll lose most of your items. But some blessed items like this ring will survive from night to night. Now that you're acquainted with magic, I have a favor to ask. There is a powerful artifact in the Moisan Muslim that may be the key to escaping the dream. The last person seen there was the butcher surgeon. He's a repugnant man my father hired to help with research in the dream. I've learned he was seen in the Muslim recently, searching for corpses to an autonomize. He spends most of his time in the basement, studying corpses in the kitchen. As you are much more able with magic than I, uh, can you venture down there and see if you can find anything out? Be careful, he's truly odious and unpredictable man. Also, have you taken a closer look at the cario cabinet in the occult library? Lots of interesting objects in there. Uh, Margaret. Uh... Okay, there is a lot to ask, and I don't feel like talking forever now. Let's ask her about the dangers. As those trapped in the dream, not really in the world, they turn into de deranged living corpses here. Unfortunately, the dream accumulates more such unpleasant residents each year. As such, it's critical that you avoid attention until you are properly armed with the tools to defend yourself. While dying in the dream is only temporarily a fair, the experience is still horrible, so you must be careful. Alright. Uh, let's ask about your father. My father is Dr. Robert Blackett, famed American physician turned Welsh asylum owner. Have you heard of the composer John Sebastian Batch? He's my father's favorite. Batch was given a near impossible task by King Frederick of Prussia, devised the accompaniment to a complicated melody in the spot. You see, King Frederick loved to humiliate visitors to his court in such a way by leaving them fail by having them fail at something they were supposedly excellent at. Patch completed the task much of the, to the amazement of everyone in the room. When I first started learning how to play the piano of age 8, my father gave me the same challenge. In fact, he gave me that same challenge every day for 4 years. When finally I had learned enough counterpoint to complete the challenge, he congratulated me for taking 4 years to match what Patch had done in a single night. My father always uh, aspired to match the achievements of his heroes. He just never realized that his hero was really King Frederick, not Batch. Interesting. Alright, that's enough talking for now. 
So, do you want me to go back to the occult and look at it? An unnerving yet harmless child's doll. Where's the face? I, I see no face. Place to create a distraction or draw attention to something. Oh look, a child without a face! Poncer's chest. Thank you for a purchase of Poncer's chest. A unique and exciting way, new take on the classic game of chess. Before we explain how each unit works, you'll need to understand some terminology. Perception. A perception increases the unit to see the spirits from a further distance and detect increasingly uh, sophisticated hexes and illusion. Poise. Units with a higher poise are, li are less likely to be stunned or knocked down by attacks. Speed, a value of 150 and indicates the unit performs all action 15% faster than normal. Luck, a value of 200 indicates double the likelihood of finding rare or expensive items, as well as 10% more gold found. Alright, so this is like explaining me just the mechanics of all the stats. Very nice. Uh, Welsh country houses. Alfred Mosden of Lance Lancaster was born of modest means. He managed to build a coal mining empire after he bequeathed a small plot in the southeast Wales by his uncle. Like many newly rich, Alfred hoped for more leisurely uh, aristocratic life for his children. So off went to his twins Peter and Br Priscilla to England for a proper education. In 1869, Morzen started construction and country home halfway between the mine of and Oxford, where Peter was pursuing a classic degree. I'm learning about the family, little by little. Oh, I got something else and I accidentally skipped it. Uh, Naming. Thank you so much for the five dollars in super chat. Glad to catch your stream, even though I'm two hours late. It's okay. There's still like about like two or three hours to the stream, so that's fine. Uh, they want me to go back to the occult library. Said something about cabinets. That's what Margaret said. These boards are very creaky. Did you see me? Lord Do we... Not be Lord Mordison. So that's the coal mining guy. That's the guy we just read about. Horrible dust. <laughs> A little rat snuck in. Okay. <laughs> um, I kind of panicked and I like hugged the, the ground like this. So I guess I was bound to be found out, huh? Found more four coins and another corrupted finger. And uh, an explanation of who she is and her stats. Oh, I, am I bleeding? Status effect. Behind my camera. If I move it for a moment. Okay, I'll bring it back. If that was the game once. What a drama queen, yeah. Oh! He's also a drama queen. I'm leaving him. I don't suppose you have a cabinet in the occult library, do you? A spirit twig, a gnarled magic twig, somewhat hot to the touch. Snap it to become a spirit for five seconds. Spirits cannot be seen or harmed. And a warding candle, hey! Is that a candle I can just use? A holy candle. Gradually heals, cures damage. Uh, dispels nearby magical traps. Spirits and enchanted armor cannot pass by while it burns. They cannot pass by? What does that mean? I guess the... Hmm. Oh, look at that! There is something underneath. There's a small passage under the curio cabinet. Crawl through it. Yeah. What's what what could go wrong? He has a sword or he has a butcher's knife and a shield. I never thought I'd see the combination. Tactics manual. Bait out attacks by dodging at the last second. Hey, that's what I did, actually. Just failed miserably. Uh, then attack while the enemy recovers. Use a yellow dummy spell to create a distraction and attack from behind. Briefly hide under furniture to avoid projectiles or charging enemies. 
Aha! Uh -huh. Cast a red hex on the door or a wardrobe, then place a doll or candle nearby to attract attention to it. Ah, oh, to make sure the trap hits. Use sound to your advantage. Fireworks can gather all enemies to a location of your choosing. Running is a good local noise making option if you have nothing else. Six, tailor the rings you wear to your preferred combat, sty combat style to maximize damage. Adundum, April 1891. In order to weed out dull in initiates, this manual is no longer to be given out. Okay. Ring bell. Uh, bad idea, right? I don't hear anybody coming. So I can just uh, continue going. Ghostly ring. This item is permanent. Call to the touch. A small amount of cursed energy pours from crack running down the middle. To dodge and rolls. Adds a brief window of invulnerability. Two curse damage spell toll. Alright, so there is a trade-off. However, when I dodge, I become... I get, like, uh, iframes. Oh. Wait, I... I can equip these rings? Okay. That increases my max health and gives me bleeding resistance. I was bleeding earlier, so that's nice. Oh, Iron Maiden. Cool, let me just hide in the Iron Maiden. I'm sure that's a good idea. Moonless, formless paths connect the past and the present. Light this candle to open a path. So long as you don't leave this room, death will return you to this moment. Like, am I remembered all always? Nice. Comet training procedure. In critical... It is critical the initiative activate the shrine prior to beginning training. Otherwise, the night will be wasted. For successful training, the initiate should activate the mirror shrine, pull the chain to release the training assistant, engage in combat, die, repeat. Explain to the initiate that if they, def if they defeat the training assistant and would like to restart, they can take advantage of the Iron Maiden in this room, which I smartly didn't hide in. Addendum. Uh, barred from using mirror shrines. Okay, it's a different addendum. Um, as initiates are now barred from using mirror shrines, this training is no longer to be used under any circumstance. Pull chain? Yeah. Alright. He's not charging. So let's take it slow. Oh. He's a big one, isn't he? Oh. Okay, he actually hit me there. Damn! Uh, I did about 50-50. I think I did the... Uh, okay. Search body. Corrupted heart. The enlarged heart of a living corpse. Uh, okay. It's an offering. Old wooden shield. A decorative shield uh, purportedly Viking in origin can block most attacks, although will eventually break. Okay. This guy was much tougher than the rest of them. He's much bigger in size and also... He's pretty big. I have a, a knife and a shield. Anyway, I think I can snuff this out. I had enough uh, combat training. He hit me in such a high velocity. Um, I don't know if I had a lot, of, a lot of time to like avoid him. It seems like it happened instantly. Like he was like, ah, Anyway, I gotta thank Margaret for that uh, training session. That's definitely gonna come in handy. Use left hand item control. Oh, so control is, uh... Can I parry? In a survival horror game, can I parry?
Hmm. I must be bleeding to use the gauzes. I'll use a medkit because I have about half health. It's the... I can like... Do all of these. It's just not wise to go into combat. Un unprepared. Now we're really prepared. We're a viking. There's Margaret. I have a sleeping patient. This is how the Vikings sneak. I should probably close the door in case there is anybody outside. I don't want him to hear me. I'm gonna stand behind him because when I stab him, he's gonna have to get up and then turn around. Oh my... I'm so smart. I'm gonna take his coins and, have, and his finger. I don't even need to study about him. I'm not even gonna get a, a sheet explaining who he is because I already know he's dead. A hardy roll. A hardy liar roll with a vari variety of seeds. Heals one health per second for 60 seconds. Alright, so... Um, how much health do I have? It doesn't say. Um... Well, I, I'm just going to assume it, it heals a lot for for a minute. Alright, I'm actually in, really enjoying this game. Another candle. Alright. This room is done for. The secret, secret Viking strats. Yeah, it's like you see in uh, in the shows, where they, <laughs> where the Viking just uh, kind of sneak in like this, and then they they scream Valhalla, Valhalla, and then they <laughs> they stab with their little knives. Redacted, thank you so much for the five dollars and super chat. Uh, I'm on time for stream for once. Shekels, shekels, I will. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the five dollars, which would translate to I don't know how many shekels, but I appreciate that. Very generous. Welsh count country houses. Alfred Moisjan was found of saying he was the eighth century man born in the nineteenth century. Thus, Moisjan House, while fitted with the latest technology like gaslighting, had a distinctly barky sensi sensibility. Notoriously thrifty, Alfred filled with estate with. Replicas of expensive paintings and plaster copies of famous statues. Upon its opening in 1871, early visitors split on whether the interior was beautiful or tasteless. While Alfred was away during the summer of 1872, this uh, disgruntled mine workers burnt his primary Mather Tadriel residence to the ground. Worse still, his sister was inside and perished in the fire. Having put nearly all his finances, financial resources into the construction of Moisian House, Alfred had no choice but to move full-time into his country house. Other terrible events soon followed. Damn, that sounds terrible. Oh, what's going on? That's called the Marble Gallery and it seems to have a sigil, so it's safe, I presume. Sir? I've always loved this one. Good evening. I'd introduce myself, but people don't generally wear masks if they want their identity to be known. I have been here for so long I can scarcely remember who I was previously anyway. I no longer have the patience to beat back the ever-growing throngs of animated corpses in this house. As such, I have become something of a merchant. I, tra I traffic in all sorts of goods, and my inventory is always changing. What good is gold in Nightmare? A coin is a favor. Save for later. Alright. Well, what do you have? Uh, this key is permanent. I want permanent items. How much does it cost, good sir? Uh, 10 coins. I have 17. I bought the, the grand clock uh, key. Firework. Uh, I will reserve my judgment for now. Though it seems like coins are very useful. I could also buy uh, rings. 
receive less fire damage, convert physical damage to po poison buildup for melee attacks. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, a ring with a crescent moon painted on it. Moderately boosts spell damage. Alright. Uh, remove cover. Um, I should probably talk to the stranger. He, he, he'd probably tell me something about it. Uh, whoops. Didn't mean to buy anything out of, of you. Uh, hard, hard house mask. Alright, I have nothing to say to him because he has, uh... Not what I wanted. I'll just pull it off. Enter portal to nowhere. Um, I don't know. I maybe a Bible slightly increases luck. It can be held out and spirits at bay, or even push them around. I can. Um, I can just hold it out and repent. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Alright. Just had to make sure. By the way, guys, thank you very much uh, for hanging out with me. I appreciate that. I very much appreciate it. Just made sure everything is alright on my end. Again, if you... Uh, uh oh. If you missed any content and if you arrived just now, there is a link in the chat for the second channel. And you can check it out where I upload. I upload all the content from the stream there in higher quality. So it's very much uh, what you're looking for if you missed the stream. Um, yeah, okay, there is somebody in there. I felt like uh, it's too easy. So... Oh, he has a gun! How long has it been? Can a shield block bullets? Probably not. So many years. Oh! Silly child. Oh. Mm. Ah. Oh, Lord Mustin. I, I mean, failed you. He did use the gun. <laughs> There was somebody to the right. They've escaped though. I don't know who they are. Where is the big guns? Well, he had a gun, but he didn't use... I mean, he used it, but he used the handle of the gun. Shoot me, dumbass! Groundskeeper. David. David. Um, David forgot to set the traps again, and now the hedge maze is positive, positively crawling with vermin. Interesting. Okay, I don't know why I'm crouching. This guy's dead. I kind of have a jump scare when I do that, when I pull off the cover. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna head out. By the way, if anybody's wondering, I, I, I tried taking the gun. There was nothing. You know what, I'll try again. I did search him though. Ma'am? What you doing? She's doing something on the ground. She trying to resurrect him? She's painting. She's wearing a mask. <laughs> Did she come from the portal? Whatever. Let her do her shenanigans. Just kidding. I found you. Okay. He's still dead, so I don't care. I guess she marked his grave. 
<gasps> maybe they're... Maybe they're tracking how many people I killed in the dream. Oh no, I'm not gonna get the good ending now. I'm such a bad guy. I have a... F I, I found a cup of tea. I can heal up with that. So that's the so-called basement, I presume. Okay, I don't see anybody in here. Actually, I wanted to check the drawers over there. Okay, I guess there is no drawers. I guess it's just a uh, thing. Um, what kind of offering do I need for this fountain? Two fingers. Huh, what do you know? I have two. All right, so now I can remember plus one items. So let's uh, look here. So what item would always be beneficial to remember? I'm gonna remember the shield. It just seems like a good combo. All right. So I created a copy of the shield and when I die, I presume I'll, I'll still have it. I can go up to the hedge maze. Oh, this guy doesn't seem dangerous, does he? I swear, the church was this way, but there is only a wall! Oh, do forgive me. Sometimes I forget that I am in the damnable shadow world rather than the real one. I am the vicar of St. Ellie's, the nearby parish church. Or at least it used to be nearby. It feels like it has been a long time since I've seen it. Never mind all that. You've been in the house recently. Positively reeking with evil, isn't it? As a warrior of Christ, I had one thought. I once thought to save the poor souls in here. Now I wish only to escape. You may think it cowardly, but spend a few more nights here and you'll see. Lamp. I see you're staring at my lamp. I would be happy to give it to you. But I need proof that you are a valiant warrior of Christ and not in league with the foul beast in the house. I'm holding a shield and a knife. Do I not look like a warrior to you? Bring me the corrupted heart of, the, of those hefty prisons uh, spewing sheet-covered abominations in there. You can have it, man. Excellent! You are indeed worthy of this lamb! Use it well! Um, uh, can you tell me what's in the basement because I'm about to head there? I'll ask him about the hedge maze when we head into the hedge maze. The basement is absolutely boiling with sinful characters. For one, there is the first witch and her initiates. Do not, under any circumstance, be temp tempted to join her foul coven. I believe the dream is a test from God to see how we might behave given eternal life. Harnessing the power of demons to cast spells does not sound like the sort of activity that would please our lord and savior. Secondly, the butcher surgeon resides down there. A despicable man. I've seen him go in and out of the hedge maze several times. He claims to be searching Mosin Mausoleum for corpses to atonimize. What is his real intention though? I don't know, but you should ask him if you see him. Oh, he's not a bad guy. If I should ask him, it means he's not going to stab me. That's just my, um, you know, my positive side in me. I like the remember system. It's just like a unique take on inventory. Well, not exactly super unique, but like... Different. Do I need to equip the lamp? Or is it just attached? Oh, is that to my left hand? Oh no. I'm gonna have to drop my... Um... Alright, I'm gonna assign the shield. Three. And the mm -hmm. lamp four. Okay, so the lamp turns off. I can't, like, put it on my hip. Read the wrong room? 
Sweet Millie, dead girl. I still remember the trick. Open and close any door three times, then step through to the wrong room. Well, peeking through doesn't actually see anything because there is no light in the room. I have to physically be in there. So being in darkness actually uh, is a big disadvantage for me. Because now I lose the ability to pick through rooms and get a surprise attack. Alright. I'll keep that wrong room story in mind. There is no light in this room. E Wait. There is a floating hand with a lamp. Alright. What's else in this room? A hiding spot. Another door. Let me use the map. Uh, where am I exactly? Okay, I see, I see. So this is a big basement. Question, will I not be detected by the hands holding the light? Alright, he went... Left. I know usually in a room there is a, a closet, so I presume since there is a bed to the left, there would be a closet somewhere to the right. So let's wait for him to go left. Uh oh. I just died. Wow, that was quick. That was really quick. I still have my items, though. I didn't lose my uh, items, my necessary items to progress, so I guess it's not all bad. That was a quick kill. I shouldn't... Uh, maybe I should actually carry the Bible with me. I heard it does something against spirits. Though we did lose it. Where was the Bible, anyway? Are enemies back? Let's have a look through this room. Do you have a Bible, sir? No Bible! Alright. I'll switch to my uh, shield for now. I guess items that I remember... What the heck did I just pick up? The one's great remains of something porcelain. Can be thrown to create a distraction. Audible. Okay, so I could potentially use that distraction to get the ghost out of the room. A little rat snuck in. How does defending work? Uh, that was a, a battle with relative success, I'd say. I got hit only once. And she w she's the one who got the drop on me. Alright, the keys also stay with me, I think. Because I just unlocked the door. I can use the doll as a distraction too. This room changed. Critical ring. An ancient Byzantine, Byzantine ring. Any damage dealt by the wearer has a chance to double. The chance is kills with luck. What was that little yellow flash just now? How curious. Oh, critical damage. We're going to critical build. One hit, one death. So this, I assume, leads outside, right? Yeah. So, like I told you, it is a road like so things change.
Yo, what's that? Hey, the story of the wrong room is gone. Though I still remember it. But it's not here anymore. Now there is a cabinet instead. There is a sigil above the door, so I assume they, this room is safe. Phantom Ring. When the wearer is over 50% cursed, a faint viol violet glow appears around their feet. Their footsteps become much harder to hear. Perfect for superstitious activities. So this is for a more stealthy uh, playstyle, I guess. Who is this guy? Nerd. Man, this, this room is huge. I can hide behind the pawn or king or whatever this is. Bishop. All right, who are you, nerd? I know what you're thinking. Why would this gentleman and his dog be locked up if they don't hadn't done something nefarious? Surely this man murdered someone and his great piece of dog drank the body into a lake? Well, I can assure you, we are merely the victims of a cruel jeep. No more. My name is Felix and this is my noble hound Hor Hoes. If you would be so kind to fetch the rusty cage key, I'm sure we could be a great use to you. I don't have it right now. Can I speak to the good boy? I cannot. Off Officer Rowald Bryce. A moment to strike something. 28th of July, 1881. Investigating the potential murder of Peter Moisen, 35, and possible forged will leaving family estate to American physician Robert Blackett. A state ta staff reports Peter appearing pale and sickly for nearly a full year before death. Peter had been a severe alcoholic for seven years following the death of his father and sister. Dr. Robert Blackett and his daughter Margaret had been living in Muslim House for three years. A state staff reports no conflict between them. Unsus unsubstained rumors of an intimate relationship between Peter and Margaret. Okay. All right. What is what? What's up with these mirrors? I gotta know. Can't really use it. I guess once you find more than two mirrors, you can travel between them. Dull silver ring. A scuffed old silver ring. Received twenty-five less spell toll. Photographic dry plate. A thoroughly modern photographic plate with a camera can be used to create curiously vibrant p photographs. All right. Guess we're leaving. So he's just sitting here in the dark. Oh no, he has a candle. Very kind of them to give him a candle. I hear footsteps. My light is completely off. I, I have no clue what's going on. What the heck is that? It's she's huge. <laughs> Do I go in there? Oh. I heard somebody talking in that room. All right, distraction. I'm gonna ready my weapon just in case. Did my screen just shift a little to the right, uh, to the left? Because if so, it means there is an enemy there. They're all dead. Should 
Could I kill her? If I kill her... Is any of this real? If I kill her, the tall woman is gonna come into this room and kill me. She's holding a chandelier. She's gonna smash it into my head. At least there is no ghosts. Oh, that sound. You know, does she suspect? Because if she suspects, she's gonna come to me and uh, try and uh, look. Just like the guy with the gun did, he suspected, so he checked uh, under the table eventually, which got me in trouble. gonna have that room oh my god that was such a fast hiding he's gonna check under the table I think no so because Margaret looked inside to the left I assume he went back to the room Would be a good idea to close the door so it doesn't surprise me. There is no handle. All right. Gotta head to work. We'll watch tonight in entirety. Much love. Keep uh, on the. Much love, y'all. Keep on keeping on risk. Thank you, Reducted. Have uh, a good day at work. I've been cursed. I'm gonna wait for her to walk off frame. Last time I tried to sneak past her, she kind of knew. She had a hunch. There is a sigil above the door. She can't touch me in here. What's up with this guy? Check this guy out. Mr. Bones. <laughs> Alright. Enough fun. Uh, case 2. History of Dr. Robert Blackett made a fortune as a talented physician in Boston treating unusual cases. Took a trip to China in 1860, possibly to avoid war in the US. Left China for England, bringing half Chinese daughter Margaret with him, mother unknown. Unsubstantiated rumors of heavy opium usage. Met Peter Mojun in 1878. Robert and Margaret move into Mojun house. Three years later, Peter, dead, and Robert owns Mostum House. Hmm, suspicious, huh? Kinda suspicious to me! Case number three. The autopsy has ruled Peter's death as alcoholic. Cardiomyopathy, although the performing doctor notes some irre irregularities, the transfer of Mostum House to Robert Blackett following Peter Mostum's untimely death is suspicious. However, Given all of Peter's immediate family is deceased, it is not so unusual as to be implausible. It is this officer's opinion that the, this investigation should be closed. So he, there was no foul play? This guy is alright. Ah, you must be Nightgale. I've heard wonderful things about you, about you from my daughter Margaret. 
Wait, so you're the guy. You're him. You're Peter, you're uh, Robert. I'm Dr. Robert Blackett. I do apologize for not coming to visit you sooner. Oh, I see you staring at my head wound. Nothing to worry about. Cut my head open on a low doorway. We old men bleed so easily. I'm afraid you caught me at a bad time, as I must be heading upstairs. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to get acquainted here in the dream. For now, feel free to use my laboratory. You seem like a clever girl. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Enjoy the rest of your evening, night, Gail. Alright, Robert. I love how Nightgale moved out of the out of the way so he could walk. Hmm. So I can use an acid jar. And I can use a tunic to heal. Alright. I'm gonna build healing and acid. So the acid is a bit more time sensitive, so I'm just gonna equip it. Where is the acid? Did I not uh, create it? Oh, there it is. So... What's the current? Okay, number two is available. There you go. Number two, and then I presume I aim, and then I shoot. All right. I got it. So I can use this mirror probably to travel between uh, mirrors. Oh no, it's not like I thought. It's another mirror that is completely fine. What gives? I did not check before going to the hallway. I don't know where she is. This is why you have to check. I've been cursed. She's such a tall woman. I'm gonna keep the door open just in a pinch if I have to get in there. Another sigiled room. Hey, she's the first witch. She might blow my head off. Alright, what offering do you need? Corrupted heart. I do not have. Outcast Diary. Yes, I am, uh, but that's not so unusual. Not uh, compared to the occult games that the doctor and his more girl daughter have conducted. But I could stand. Sorry, I can't read the combined ha handwriting very well. So I assume the big guy upstairs have the corrupted heart. I assume anybody who is big has a corrupted heart. Is it wise to fight the big woman? I don't know. I could die. You might be night, uh, Nightingale. The filthy wretch speaks highly of your potential. I'm the first witch and I run the Sorrel Order of the Initiated. The filthy wretch and I, through careful and often perilous experiments, have come to understand much about the dream. I bestow this knowledge onto worthy young young initiates such as yourself. How do we train you? This will sound a bit macabre. The blood and vital organ of the dream inhabitants hold tremendous power. By offering them in ritual to the entity that controls the dream, the body may be permanently strengthened. Additionally, worthy initiates are given special gifts, such as they ascend in the ranks. Additionally, worthy initiates were given special gifts. Oh, you're saying the same thing again. In fact, I thought she's saying additionally and then additionally again. Here is a hunting guide on the offering list you can pr refer to. I look forward to working with you to unlock the full potential. Alright. Uh, I can offer. What do we get? More health? Curse tolerance? Or immunity? I'm gonna go for more health. 
Congratulations on your first offering. Your reward is a key that unlocks our network of secret passages. The bookshelf in this room connects directly to another part of the house. Very convenient. Your next reward will be at level 5, an advanced grimoire that will let you create new spells. I look forward to your next offering, Initiate. Alright, so I'm encouraged to kill people. Okay. It's just that, uh, that kid with the, uh, uh, brush? They were doing something to the corpse. Where is she? They were doing something to the corpse and I thought they might be recording my, uh, Oh, screw it. I'm just gonna walk. I'm not gonna hide. Anyway. There's something banging against the door. I don't know about that. Anyway, from the very beginning, I thought killing people is gonna give you a bad ending, but it, probably not now. It doesn't seem likely. Um, there's something there. I don't hear anything in the room. There is a number four scribbled on the wall. I can't really read that, so you can... Pause the stream archive to read that. So here's the problem. We already know that fighting, if we make too much noise, other enemies are going to come into the room. I want to fight other people, but I'm not... I actually don't want to find out if the tall woman is uh, strong. The screen is focusing left. There is an enemy there. All right, we have to do this. A new friend. She disappeared. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yo, what the heck is this? Man, this metal is cool. It's like anime. That must have made sound. I should probably open this cabinet and hide just in case. Ha! <laughs> cut your finger! I can't help it sometimes if they lose their way. Exploring their curse is not for the weak. You like that move, huh? <laughs> so the last room... Um, has the number four. That's uh, the last room. It says servants' quarters. So the last servant, the last four servants, I don't know what they did. I'm just gonna try and remember the numbers that way. Wait, did I not get injured? Are you kidding me? Was I that good? There is water right here, but I guess that's just. Because I stabbed her. By the way, do I get invis frame when I... Yeah, okay. I do get uh, eye frames when I uh, roll on the ground too. Alright. Let's go.
my god, three hits! I wanted to close the door, not pick up items. Did you hear it? Another diary from an outcast. Progress is slow, I have no pupils. The dream has become overrun with disgusting disease ridden corpses. Again, pause if you'd like to read. Well, we know one of the codes was for. That's great. We have another four here. Burst ring. Sweet Millie, did dead girl. In the dark, I can almost see her. One num one number game. West to east. In the white lead. The other two are where we laid our heads. What? Alright, let's head out. Dead? <laughs> Shit. I was surprised by the curse rot. What the heck was that? Dummy spell. Summons a lifelike dummy of the caster, which will attract enemy attention until it is destroyed. Alright, so now I know what that sound is. It's just that it was dark, so I, I didn't know what to prepare for. Anyway, I could probably use this to get down. Or not? Oh, hello. Alright, I'm fighting you. Okay, you're way too strong. She's way too strong. She's super fast. We're not gonna do that. This is not happening. Melee ring. A chip wooden ring covered in blood. 25% melee damage? I mean, I don't do that much, but hey, I'll take it. I lost some of my rings. All the keys are things that are permanent, I see. Use this and I'm at the basement. High velocity number two. Yeah, she was pretty fast. I've been cursed. Get out of the way, cursed lady. The basement is different. What was that? Alright, let's take care of him. <coughs> Three hits and you're dead? Alright, I want two corrupted fingers because co two corrupted fingers will let me level up. 
Uh, we still need three codes, but I don't know if the number changed. Yeah, okay, it did change. An axe? It's probably harder to live uh, to move though, right? It's much more damage, but I think it's uh it's a little slower. Wait, I'm getting cursed every time I dodge. Why? I didn't know that. I thought I'd get a, a little curse for having the ring on. A two curse damage, god damn it. Hmm. I don't know, man. Uh, is this a safe room? It's not a safe room, is it? Oh, there is two of them! Poisoned. I don't have. I need he some item. Uh, heals. All right. I'm just gonna use that. And that's gonna counter the poison for now, for about a minute. I just wanted to fight these guy, uh, fight that guy to see how he works. Okay, I, uh, poison stopped. We're good. She's running. She's aggravated. Got him. Healing. Oh, we got a heart. We can offer that to uh, open one of the fountains. Which means I can remember three items. Though, I, I would like to have at least one more finger so I can level up my uh, character. I don't know if we want more health or resistance. So these big guys... Oh my god, she's running! Why she's running? I aggravated her like one time and look at that how she's acting like a little baby. I didn't see a number in the room we were to prior. I'm gonna wait for her to run back right. Th so three boilers. Oh wait, hello witch. Um, offering. Yeah, I still need more uh, fingers. Is there anything in this room? 
Nice. It's like the enemy from Left 4 Dead I forgot the name of. Spitter? You might be thinking of Spitter. There we go, we used the Corrupted Heart and now we can remember one more item. What will it be? I think it will be this axe. Da the damage is very nice. It's 10 plus the... oh. Hmm. Should I forget the shield and uh, remember the 25 melee damage? It just seems very effective. So I'll forget about the knife. And maybe put the shield back. There you go. Uh, the physical damage was just very nice. So this is back upstairs. Hi, huh, you know what? I actually don't need to deal with a woman uh, downstairs. I can just kill one up here. And be done with it. There should be a woman wandering around here. Who is this now? Okay. So now we can level up without having to risk our butts down there. There we go. Alright. That's a lot more nicer. Is this the number of the room or something else? I think it's a... Uh, I feel like I already read that, but I uh, didn't properly answer. I think it's just uh, numbers for the code since there is uh, a code, a padlock that requires to open. Alright, so I can get more health. Observe more curse damage before succumbing to curse rot, allowing one to better preserve ghosts and discover additional secrets. Immunity. Observe more bleeding, paralysis, and poison damage before succumbing to their effects. More vigor. Corrupted hard to another level. Yeah. I don't know. Should I get more health? Or bleeding tolerance? I don't know. More health it is. So now we need a finger, a heart, and ten coins. Alright. So, this ma'am is still aggravated, I guess. Yeah, Spitter, that's the name. Sorry, I haven't played Left 4 Dead in a long time. I just remember it because... Spitter, watch out! Watch out for the go! They have uh, some very nice uh, voice lines. Alright. Yeah, I don't care what's behind this door, I'm coming in. It's just we don't have time to check what's behind the door when she's running in the hallway. So, 7, 3. Oh, I'm seeing things. Okay, that's the... that bitch. Another one. Okay, I got one hidden. I got her. human offering all right it looked like I, I might have been able to dodge just by simply ducking and also i don't know if you notice i ran to the other side of the room anticipating she's gonna be there because she already did the same thing twice so i'd assume uh, that's just the thing that she does Now we need the last number. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing the boiler thing for. What's the quest? Felix wants a rusty cage key. Okay. Ask the butcher surgeon. Okay. I guess uh, there is a uh, steam block in the maze. Because I heard he's in the maze. Oh, I should have uh, left. Alright, 573. 
five rooms with seven cats three times. Another one. You're a bricky one, aren't you? Man, she's also quick. She uh, dodged somewhere. I mean, it didn't help her. She still died, but... That's uh, nice. Alright, I think we gotta be healing a little bit. There you go. Hmm... Any more rooms? That's storage. Alright. A bunch of nice items. Uh, where is 50%? Bowing low. Alright, I see. So you get uh, more sneaky. Oh yeah, this is uh this is where Felix is. Okay, Felix, don't mind me. I died. I'm gonna wait for her to make her location known, and then we're gonna try and solve the boiler puzzle. And then she turns around. Where's the hiding spot? There was no hiding spots. Okay, there it is. I hesitated to go to the second hiding spot. Whoops. Is it here? Nope. Is it here? Let me close the door because she's going to be nearby. Yeah, I think it's here. So, five rooms. Seven, three times. I did see the number five. So five rooms, three, seven. All right, so three, five, seven. All right, so three, seven, five. There we go. Wait, that restored power? I thought it's a boiler. Huh? Oh wait, maybe this was the combination. West to east in white lead. The other two are where we laid our heads. I don't know if that was a part of the puzzle. I just tried the combinations. That's all. <laughs> I always do that when... Uh, when it's uh easy one number game yeah one number game that that has to be the code west to east in white lead okay so west 375 west to east Oh, the door was open and she stopped for a moment. You saw that? I'm not sure. Is that, is that all I was supposed to do down here in the basement? There is no sigil above the door. I'm going to close it then. I don't see a sigil, so this room is not safe. Even though it looks like it's safe, it's, it's not. I guess I can see better, so I can switch to my uh, shield, though I'm not sure how well a shield does versus a giant woman with a big ass chandelier. I feel like she still beats a, a barbarian shield.
Is there a door here? Oh my god, there is. I just noticed. So I can uh, make a copy of myself, but I don't think I have a candle. Oh, I do. Alright, so it means I can die and not, like, lose progress. I, I believe you can die, like, one time. I mean, I have a sh uh, an axe and I have a barbarian shield. Valhalla. <laughs> this is this is classic Valhalla stuff. Oh wait, there's the surgeon. Do I talk to him? There he is. Ah, uh, you must be the new boy. Just so you're aware, the last boy died of sepsis. He did not listen carefully to my instructions. This patient is dying. I need you to run to the labo laboratory and craft a tunic jar. All right. I will do that. So to craft a, uh, that jar, we need herb and we need um, just an empty jar. So once we have those two, we can craft it. So let's investigate around this area. We might find it. There is a hiding spot. Also, I can go to this side. It might be better if I look... Upstairs, because upstairs, I don't run the risk of dying. Because the enemies are just too easy upstairs, I believe. Alright, let's go check left. Oh, who is this guy? There's such a huge guy here. What's he doing? Alright. Night goal. Let's go. There's a hole in the wall. Found a cup of coffee. I don't think cup of coffee can treat flesh wounds, but then again, I'm not a doctor. Let's keep looking. There is uh, another fountain here. Wait, my screen uh, looked left. Is there an enemy there? They're all dead. Yeah, there is. Alright, so we got one more item remembered. So let's see, which one do we want to remember? I guess the candle is pretty handy. I've been here too long. I don't know what I wanna remember. Another one. Let's finish this! Oh my god, she's on fire! Die! <laughs> you dodged right into my axe. I don't know if you guys noticed, you can actually see her walking. It's very faint, but you can see her shadow, I just noticed. When she's in the shadow realm or whatever that is. Well, I just took care of the trash. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So we can now remember four items. This is such a fun system. I want to remember the finger. Um, what do we want to remember? Utility or a weapon? It's just I don't see myself using the knife. But it would be unwasted. I'm gonna put the candle. It would be wasted space if we don't use it. I'll just go the other way. And close the door. We're good. I don't think he noticed me. In fact, I know he didn't see me at all. Let's check this door. The lock is broken. Okay. I see how it is. So what do we have? So I have the herbs. I'm just lacking the flasks. I'm lacking the empty jars. I didn't search thoroughly through the basement, so we might be able to find it. However... It might be easy to, to just go upstairs. Wait. This place doesn't look safe. Hold on. 
Where's the witch's place? Uh, Gar Siderik. I read it so wrong, right? Thank you so much for the 100 uh, MX. MX dollars. Hey, Risk, I've been watching your videos for a little while now. I really like your content. Keep it up, man. Thank you. I'm hoping to get a, a, a review sometime like in a month or two. So I appreciate that. Thank you for watching my content. Thank you very much for the generous super chat. So, yeah, this is a tunic. We have medical herb. We have two of those, actually. All right. Yeah, so, so it seems like whenever the game stutters, it, forgot, it forgets that I put input, like pressing buttons. Oh! Go! She's so tall, she cannot go through doorways. Oh, that, that's... That's brutal. Found the empty jars. Let's get out of here. Little Viking. Alright. Uh, the lab laboratory. My bad. I, for I forgot to craft it. I literally handed him herbs. What you gonna do? Walk through the door? <laughs> Dummy. I closed the door anyway because I'm scared. All right, let's craft the il tunic. Ah, you know what? What the hell? Let's craft two. Kind of reminds me of Bob Bros when you say, what the hell? Ah, what the hell? Let's just paint another cabin. Oh, look at me. I'm just going. No tall women allowed. All right, there you go. I have two of those. So you can have one. You may just be some of use, boy. Uh, so, Muslim, Muslim, can you tell me about that? Oh, I see. You're not the new boy. You're a puppet. I'm going to sneak your strings. You. Oh my God! Come here, child. Get straight in the back. Aha. Oh! I don't have I don't have a saving ghost. <laughs> I mean I did do a saving ghost, but it cancels when you leave the room. No. Can I still humiliate him? I wanna humiliate him. Yes, okay, so the everything is still lit up. So we're good. Me. Did she leave? She leave. <laughs> she just saw me, you, and then puked her whole life onto my forehead. Disgusting. I don't think the shield will help me very much. It's just I'm gonna have to outwit him and outmaneuver. Perhaps I could look around and craft some spells? Do I need uh, something special to craft sp spells? Or can I just craft them on, my, on myself? Or do I need some sort of table to craft? Uh, let's look for a candle. Oh wait, I have a candle, right? Ah! Alright. I have a candle, pretty sure. There we go. Since I did remember that item. Uh, 
so can you tell me about your weakness? I do have a name, of course, but I'd rather not sully my reputation in the real world. Finding work has been difficult for an old-fashioned craftsman like myself, so I've had to do things I'm not proud of. That bloody fool Joseph Lester has turned the art of surgery into a complete farce. Dr. Blackett offered me top pay for a simple job. Each night I was to deliver to him fresh corpses and dissect them. He claimed he was starting a medical school, but there were no students. The bodies were to be autonomized in front of the, a curious window, the observer clocked in shadow. A few nights later, when I awoke in the dream, the truth was made clear. I had been hired to introduce the dream to the mechanical operations of the human body. Now, I stay on, assisting Dr. Blackett, yes, but performing my own investigations as well. Oh no, he's telling me that again. Alright. Hello, Ellis. Oh, I see. You're not a new boy. You're a puppet. Found you. <laughs> Damn. I have you now. Whoa, he's very fast. He has like a whole combo on me. <laughs> he comboed me. Did you see that? Da, 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 da. I gotta be a little smarter than this. I gotta hit him when he's down. Hey, it's me, Puppet. Found you. I have you now. Uh, where my weapon at? Hello? Do I not have weapon? Did I block it? I, I think I blocked it. Uh, I tried to uh, roll, but I ended up dodging. I, I cannot roll. Okay, it rolled now. Oh my god, he's so fast! My wooden shield! <laughs> I, the dodging does nothing! It does nothing, I don't get into Wayne time! Listen, I think we need the 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 ghost ring. I need these uh, iframes. Yeah. So now when I dodge, I actually become invincible. Because I, I, I just... When I dodge, I don't dodge enough to get out of the way. So even when I dodge, I still end up in hit range. And even if I didn't, I don't dodge fast enough to actually get out of range too. So... Too bad. Found you. Man, where am I weapon at? Hold on. I have you now. Um man, she's very slow. This guy has no downtime for anything. I I'm I'm spamming the dodge button. No iframes can save me there. She she pockets her weapon. I saw her pocketing her weapon just now. Found you. I have you now. Come here, child. All right, all right. We keep we keep uh, proud in him. Uh, he, I'm dodging. He's hitting me while I'm dodging. Uh -huh. Come here, I blocked it. Hello, mechanics. Where are you? I'm dead. 
<laughs> what the heck, man? Why does she keep pocketing her weapon? Does she want to annoy me? All right, let's snuff it out and then turn it on again. Maybe that'll help. It's just, even if I craft more healing items, I don't see myself, like, winning that. Even if I craft, like, more damage items, I, I still don't see myself uh, winning that. I, I need to, like... I need to figure out how to kill this guy. So, I think he's most weak when he dr he throws the weapon at me. That's when he's the weakest. Alright, so it also unequipped my uh, ring, so I'm gonna equip it. There you go. Alright, let's, uh, let's duke it out. Oh, I see, you're a puppy. I have you now. He jumped with what? With what did he hit me? I didn't hit him. Are you kidding me? He jumped with, uh, with like his hands up in the air. Uh, didn't I have iframes? Come here, child. Aha! Okay. Come pick up the weapon. I'm I, I'm in the uh, yeah. uh, the iframes don't work, man. I have you now. Wait. Get destroyed, oh. idiot! You dummy! Out played! Oh. Hold up! Hold up! Let me just dodge the attack real quick! Let me just dodge the attack real quick! So listen, the strategy was... Um, I equipped the... iframe ring. And I just dodged always at the right time. Just to make sure that I don't die. And I also used the hiding spots for my advantage. And you can always get him when his weapon is down. When he throws his weapon, he eventually has to pick it up. So use that smartly. Okay? So, um, yeah, um, I just, uh, killed that guy. No biggie. Yeah, I just did that. This item is permanent. Oh, yeah. The right eye to an ancient stone idol. Small glimmering lights can be seen within. A curious coin. 22 coins? It's not clear what metal it's made from. And a heart. Butcher surgeon. He has 200 health and curse tolerance. 35 poise? He's so strong. Poison resistance? How did I beat that guy? Oh well. Ding, you're dead. Alright, that takes care of things. Um, I think I'm gonna go talk to Margaret because I have no clue. You really want some? You have no idea how good I am in this game. She, you underestimated me. You just underestimated me. All right, let's search her body. A corrupted lever. The heck am I gonna do with that? Fire resistance, hello. Apparently she's weak to fire. Who knew cheating the game would, uh, you know, give you important information. Hello trophy agent. Or Negan trophy agent. And Divine Smack. Sladmore, hello. Nice to see you back. Thank you, it's nice to be back. Uh, again, if you missed any content, link in the second channel.
There is a link to the second channel in the chat. You can check it out if you missed any content. I upload there in higher quality. Alright, so Margaret. That's the witch's room. These guys. What is that? <gasps> oh! <laughs> what did he just do? It's okay, the, 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 the liver is permanent. It said this item is permanent, so I didn't actually lose progress. But he just hit me so hard, he knocked me out of my invulnerability. <laughs> Serves me right. Such a stinky pants. I upload there in higher quality and without buffer too. I think there is buffering like the recording, but I just like watch the recording and edit it out to make it smooth. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll make sure. I'll, I'll check it in editing to see if there is any buffering in the previous content um name your price we will pay it i will find a way to transport this item home if it kills me oh sorry if my uh, camera is in the way i just i don't really have a place to put my camera since there is action everywhere Um, Margaret. Let's go talk to Margaret. So Margaret is in the library somewhere around here. I'm gonna give her a surprise attack. Show yourself. Valhalla. Oh, shit. Oh, he... A double hit. Okay. Uh, is there any healing items? No. Death. You guys like that dodge? Huh? I like that a lot. So the hiding mechanic has more uses than just hiding. You can also dodge attacks. That's uh, amazing. A little rat snuck in. <laughs> Library key. So is this where Margaret is? No, that's not the study. Okay, I see, I see. All right. Oh, there is a little baby. She's sleeping. Oh, he's having a little cough. What? Where's my weapon? Where's my weapon? What happened to my weapon? I, st I strike him from shadow. So it seems like I'm very cursed.
Oh, she's painting the blood off the ground. And they're taking the body. Even though it's a dream, they, uh, they still have to clean up. Okay, listen. Before we go to Margaret, I do have two fingers. And a kidney. If you remember, that's actually enough to level up. I feel like I saw something strange. In this case. Oh, well. Uh, I don't know about this. So where's the bookcase to send me back? Because I think only the first witch can uh, do that. <laughs> okay, it's just her. Where is it? Uh, that leads me to a combat area. Where was the room I began in? Was this it? Yeah, what just happened there? Oh, that cures my curse! Well, that helps a lot. I know the game probably said it. I know the game probably said it cures curses, but when you do it like once, you, you remember it. Hello, Sierra Rose. Now, where is that basement? I don't want to go through the official way. I just want to level up before I die, you know? Marble gallery. Nope. Where did the study go? The study is just gone. So that's the laboratory. I need to find the first switch. Storage. Oh, no, 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 not this guy again. I don't have a Bible for this guy. I'll eat something. So when he makes that sound, uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, I killed him before he jumped. So he's a worm, and apparently his uh, worms are strong. This item is remembered. Okay. That's what the red thing said. Ooh, a lot of items. <sighs> Hello, Risk. Enjoy your content and your streams as well. Thank you, Sierra.
Let me get all this rot off me. I just wanted to find the witch. Alright, let's wait for her to go... Left? Right? There is two enemies in the hall now, so... Oh my god, it's this child again. If I don't move, they might not notice that, that I'm here. Let's wait for her to go again. There she is! Level me up! Offering one cor corrupted heart and one finger. Uh, more health. Make me tank. I don't have a finger. So one more level and I think I should be um, getting a new grimoire which will yield me new spells. Now... Isn't there like a crafting table for spells? Wasn't there something like that? I know I crafted once, but not out of my own volition. So I don't exactly remember it. Was it in my room then? Hide. I sort of forgot how to use... Uh, how to make spells. Oh well. I'm gonna go tell the guy outside that um, the surgeon is dead out of pure skill. Hello, Carlos. It's called Withering Rooms. It's a roguelike survival horror game. It's very fun. Well, we got the job done. What is the main quest of the game? It's escape in the dream. We're stuck in a dream and we can be stuck until we die. So we're trying to escape it. Hello. Ah. Uh, I, I killed the, the doctor. Felix wants the rusty key. Do I have to go back to the basement? I don't know about that. What shall I do? Is there somebody in the mirror? Oh! What's paralyzed status effect? I can still attack. What does paralyzed do? I can do, I, I can still do that. Do I go to the hedge maze? I should probably search his body. Seriously, where is the uh, study? I know it was in the, it was supposed to be in this hallway, but oh, there it is. Okay, so the study is right here. Uh, we'll go to the study after I um, after I uh, go to and level up. I think. So this takes me to the basement and I can level up right now. 
Uh, offering... I do not have a finger. I killed a guy. I guess he didn't have a finger, huh? Oh, well. I guess we'll upgrade some of the time, then. Alright, so the study... Is all the way to the right. Right here. Where is Margaret? There she is! You've met the first witch. Be cautious around her. She's highly secretive and exerts a high degree of control over her initiates. Uh, weren't you the the one who sent me to the basement? Oh well.